my guest tonight. He's the host of the O'Reilly Factor on the Fox News program channel. His new book is called Killing Patton, The Strange Death of World War II's Most Audacious General. Please welcome back to our program, Mr. William O'Reilly. William! <laughs> Have a seat. I'm glad, given uh, the Ebola scare, you still are shaking my hand. I think uh, <clears throat> that's a positive step. I know you're very frightened, and I just want to tell you everything's going to be okay. <laughs> there you go, baby. <laughs> Get back going. That settled down. Uh, the book is called uh, Bill O'Reilly Killing Patton. It's like the, with the eighth. We're just going to call this series Killing Trees. They sell like crazy. It's one of them. You didn't want. You didn't read it though. No, I did not read it. Uh, I'm going to wait for the Lifetime series. But I want uh, you to direct it. I will direct it. I want it. you to direct it. I'd be happy to I direct it. You, you, you know, I'm right. a director now. I know, you have a vampire movie coming out. Something like that. <laughs> it's, it's one of them tween movies yeah. where love is found unexpectedly. That's uh, the theme of Killing Patton. No, it's not. Here's what I love about this. Look at the, look at the cover there. It's just like, Patton's just sitting there, and Hitler's just giving him the eyeballs. Look at that. Look at Hitler. Oh, I'm going to get you. All right. Listen to me. Here's, yeah. all, here's all I want from you today. Uh -huh. This is it. This yeah. is all we got to do in this conversation. Okay. Just one, I have one simple goal. Yeah. I want you to admit that there is such a thing as white privilege. That's all I want. I know, you to I knew you were right. That's all I want. That's it. Just a little. I just, I just want you to say, I, I'm, I'm terribly, terribly wrong on this. I just want you to look in at me In your case, say, there is white privilege. <laughs> no, thank the you. The fact that you're here sitting <laughs> there, you. he doesn't even shave. What? He doesn't even... Look at you. What? That look, I shave? What? There isn't... You no. didn't shave? This look at this. This growth is from not... It's called Jewish privilege. It happens. <laughs> we, are, we are a hirsute people. Oh. You, you have said... You stated this. Yeah. There is no... I don't believe that there's a thing called white privilege. There is not. See, now... Okay, now, now we have a conversation we can have. Okay, look. If there is white privilege, then there has to be Asian privilege. What? Because Asians make more money than whites. What? Veggie... Oh, you not, don't know any of this, huh? Well, not no. Vietnam, not Vietnam. What kind of Asian? You, you have to... Asian-Americans. Well, no. Asian-Americans. Depends on where they're from, if you're looking at... They're from studies. Asia. They're Asian-Americans. I, I understand that, Good. but as a... Okay, the, it, they make more money, but higher the, education, the, more affluent. It, so it's okay. Asian privilege, not white privilege. That, you're, you're missing the point. And, oh. and, and the <laughs> Sorry point, to confuse you with facts. You're not... It's not the... That's the... Okay, here we go. Yeah. The Asian experience in America, yes. the Asian immigrant experience, yes. is very different from the, the, the black experience. Yes. So it's really, they're, they're not I equivalent. And either way, white people, males, set the system. So that's what privilege is, is that, that white people set the system that, yes, maybe Asian immigrants, once immigration policy was mm -hmm. liberalized, have done better over these past 30 or 40 years. But there has been a, a systemic, mm. systemic, uh, 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 systematize subjugation of, of the black community. Would you not agree with that? Sure. I mean, well, then everybody that's it. knows... That's white privilege. You just did it. That's it. We're done. You just... You just did it. You just did... That's all... That's all that's what all happened to that hand sanitizer? You almost right. touched me. Look... That's all this that is. Was, that was then. This is... Now, oh, it's right? no. What, there was white privilege, yeah, maybe, but it no longer well, 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 exists. Maybe you haven't figured out that mm. there is no more slavery, no more Jim Crow. Ooh. All right, all right. And all right. the most powerful man in the world, all right. Oh boy, is here we go, a black American. Oh boy, and the most powerful woman in the world, Oprah Winfrey, is black. Okay, Be, so being able to give people this, a free car is, does not make is, you the most powerful woman in the world. <laughs> but listen. Listen closely, because I see... Don't mess with Oprah. No, no, no. She'll but come I see, in here and shave you. I see the issue here. You don't believe that the residual effect of... I mean, slavery and Jim Crow are dead. But the residual effects of that systemic sure. subjugation exist today. It absolutely uh, exists today. Let's but go a it, different way. It, it exists for every race, not at that extent. All right? So that's white... So you, but oh you boy. don't put forth, mm -hmm. all right, this, oh, white privilege, and if you fail, that's why you fail. All right? America is now a place where if you okay. work hard, get educated, mm -hmm. and an honest person, you can succeed. That's what should be put out there. You are carrying not all this you are other carrying, stuff. You are carrying more of a burden as a black person in this country than a white person in this country. From Collectively, even, yes, but not... No, individually. You Listen, 
They don't stop and every frisk Wall Street bankers, is different. even though they've done far more damage to the economy. They don't stop and frisk White people, <laughs> listen to me. White people, white people do more drugs in this country than black people, yes. but black people make up a far higher majority of drugs. Do you know why that is? Yes. You do know why that is. Why is that? Because uh, uh, black people, it, it's about real estate to some extent. There has been a systemic subjugation through real estate. Black people are ghettoized in this country. They're forced those to live ghettos... there. They have to live there. Is that what you're telling oh, me? Oh, you're getting to a bad place, my friend. Listen, <laughs> all right, this, this is the usual white guilt liberal this stuff. This is not guilt. This is fact. Throw out I don't there feel forever. guilty. You should. Why? You're getting paid for this. No, you mean for this? Yeah. All right, let's go back here. Should be very right. guilty. What, Look, this what is made the usual you culturally? stuff. No, 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 no. What made you culturally? Do you think your upbringing gave you values, yes. ethics? Yes, it did. Uh, you, you were not. You didn't grow up rich, right? No, we didn't. But have you worked much hard. Money at all? Right. I did. You worked hard. Right. Uh, you lived where? Levittown. Levittown. New York. So it gave you a nice, stable, a cheap home. There was no down payments. Uh, it was this incredible <laughs> opportunity. No, those houses oh, were just subsidized. Yeah. It wasn't lavish. It was sub no, but it they was weren't stable. subsidized. But they were sold to GIs, and the GIs got a mm -hmm. mortgage they could afford. Dude, okay. Look, well, let me, let me just ask you a question. You're making a huge mistake. No, 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 no. Let me just ask you a question. Yes. Did that upbringing leave a mark on you even today? Of course. Every upbringing me Great. leaves a mark on Great. people. Could black people live in Levittown? Not at that time. <laughs> they could not. So that, my friend, my is what friend? we call in the business white privilege. Okay. That was in 19... No! That, that was in 1950, all right? 1950. 1950. Were there black people living there in 1960? In Levittown? Yes. I don't know. There weren't. How do you know? Because I read up on it. Oh, you it. read up. You don't know that. I do I know that. I can find somebody. My point is this. Even today... Why would you want to live there? It's a nice place, but it's not a place like you... It's not like Bel Air. Because Come it's a on. place that built values. What you don't understand is... There were, many, imagine there were millions up, of black neighborhoods that built values. But imagine millions growing up of them. knowing that you, as an American, yeah. as a GI who fought in World War II, yeah. couldn't buy into that because because you were less. It was unfair. You were not there. It was unfair. And the residue of that continues the today, residue. and that is white it's, privilege. It's, well, all right. If you want to say it's white privilege I'm because not whites didn't excuse. have it as bad I'm as saying blacks, it exists. fine. But that's, that's not it. what's happening here in, in contemporary society. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh. If you, let me repeat this, and I'll do it slowly. All right. So even you can understand. All right, all right. If you work hard, if you get educated, if you're an honest person, you can make it in America. If you live in a neighborhood where people are, poverty is endemic, yeah. it's harder to work hard. It's, it's harder, harder to get an education. Hey, you're it was harder around. for me than it was for the white guy in Garden City. It's all relative. Yes, it's harder if you're a ghetto kid. Yes, That's but can you do it? Yes. Yes, you can. Uh, you can also win the hundred yard dash on one leg, oh, but stop. it's harder. Stop. All right. It's and just harder. all I'm asking is this. Here's all I'm asking. Yes. Here's all I'm asking, because this would go a long way towards healing what I think is a huge racial issue in our country. Just an acknowledgement of that. Nobody's Everyone, blaming you. Every fair Why person so acknowledges that, not... and I've said it many oh. times on the Factor, the highest rated cable news show in the world. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> the African Americans somebody, somebody have it harder. Somebody hasn't seen Megyn Kelly yet. <laughs> oh, she's crushing you, dude. She's crushing you. Now you're misleading. She's this crushing audience. you. You're misleading. All right. All I'm saying is you, you have admit the sanitizer it. again. Yes. Well, yeah. You admit. So here's my point. So we we've we've come to agreement. You admit that white privilege exists, and it, while it's not an excuse, it does It is a reality. Exist to any extent where individuals are kept back because of their color or promoted because of their color. Look, you and I are lucky guys. We made it, we worked hard. It's not because <laughs> we're white. Wait, wait, well. Oh, you think I'm sitting here because I'm white? What are you, well, more? I'm sitting not... here because I'm obnoxious, not because I'm white. No, sir, listen to me. The point is this, when you, when you, try, and, when you try and reduce it to being solely about that, Absolutely. But my point is this. Women face this and minorities face this. They have to make strategic calculations in their lives that white guys never have to yeah. make. We never have to... We never have to worry about 
walking down certain streets because somebody's going to catcall us. We never have to worry about if, when we move into a neighborhood, we're going to be accepted. These are the types of things that, that Maybe we're talking about. you didn't about. have That's to worry. I did. If I had a move into a neighborhood to be accepted, I wasn't accepted anywhere. Look, you're generalizing, right. and you're, you're, what you're doing is promoting yeah. victimhood. No, 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 yes, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. All right. <laughs> what you call victimhood, what I'm saying is by acknowledging that reality, that I goes a long way towards healing the resentment. I acknowledge the historical reality. The resentment. And just, and right. let's, so what I don't understand is why so defensive about it? Why, why is it that white people get so defensive about this? I'm not saying that life isn't hard. Middle class white guys that are working hard to do what they can and they look and they go, I'm not getting any privilege. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is a, a group of people that were brought here. They didn't choose to immigrate here to get that better life. And just acknowledge that our country's had a problem people with that and we can acknowledge move... that who are fair minded. But you don't then take that mm -hmm. and then condemn the modern society because Nobody's of condemning it. Yes, the you are. It's white privilege that makes you successful. I even heard I, that over I here. I just said it's, that's it's, not. You know, if you're not a woman, it's, it's a not. Come you know what on. I'll call it? I'll call it this, and it's a word I think you'll understand a factor. It's a factor. <laughs> It's a it's factor. A factor. I'll, I'll, buy, I'll give you the factor business. You did. It's a You're factor. giving me the factor. Common cause. That's it. That's all. Oh, you want to say anything? Right here. Okay. So, so we're okay. Are we on the air? <laughs> We've been on the air the whole time. Let me tell you something. This was this was yeah. a beautiful moment in in healing uh, between. <laughs> between not just black and white, Jew and Irish, tall and short. This, <laughs> this was a historic moment. Yeah. You, you're, Are you happy now, Stuart? You're... Are you happy? Happiness is not what comes by me. But let me say this. <laughs> Your humility has moved me. <laughs> you are like Pope Francis that has taken the Catholic Church yeah. into an era of acceptance and humility. You, you, Bill O'Reilly can lead the flock of the fox fearful to a better place. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> the book is called Killing Patton, and I'm sure you've sold a lot. No white privilege in the book. Oh! Bill O'Reilly, ladies and gentlemen. Right. You did it!